happy video day guys Christina Brooke here today I wanted to run down with you guys my favorite 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 products at this moment right now and you know instead of talking about all this boring makeup that keeps coming out I don't know I think I'm gonna do a whole video talking about my feelings towards what's been happening lately but I have been so uninspired lately by a lot of the new releases and yeah instead of talking about some very uninspired boring stuff I decided you know what today's video let me talk to you guys about stuff that is amazing now going into the summer I have some awesome products that I want to share with you guys that I have been using that I know are so so good so I'm gonna be talking about makeup I'm gonna also be showing you guys some fashion items some bathing suit stuff some pajamas I've got a lot of stuff here we're gonna talk about a whole lot of stuff and guys no joke this is stuff that I'm like obsessed with so anyways if you guys haven't done so already don't forget to hit subscribe join my family i would love to see you again and let's get into okay. it so i'm going to start off with some makeup products first because i have them sitting in front of me and these are i feel like some of these are like the perfect end of spring beginning of summer makeup items that i really truly can tell you guys are so freaking good so the first thing i want to tell you guys about is something that's pretty pricey but there has been a change in my skin lately. My skin has looked so good, like like better than it's ever looked. And I know there's three items that I have been using consistently, like a lot. And I could tell you they have become like part of my routine when I put on makeup. So I want to share with you guys the first one. So this is from Shanti Kai and this is their rose water. I use this, you guys can see how it's going down. It really is being used by me a lot. Every time I put on foundation, I spray my face with this rose water because it kind of just like helps you blend the foundation out a little bit. And there is something in this that kind of feels like rejuvenating. Like it makes you feel, I don't know, refreshed. It has like a refreshed feeling. It's not like one of those mists that's gonna leave you like a glowy, dewy look to yourself, but it gives you like this refreshed look. And I'm telling you, there's something in this rose water that I think my skin really, really loves because my skin has never looked better. And like I said, there's only three products that I have added and I feel like all three have really done wonders. I really do feel that way. And the first one is this product. And if you guys are looking for a rose water or you're looking for something to spray your face with because you want to just give a little bit of hydration to your skin or you need something to blend out those tougher like foundation sticks just pick up something like this it's pricey but if you're really into skincare or if you have acne prone skin try this it might be it might be worth a shot for you guys and since we're talking about that I'm gonna talk about the other product that I've used from Shanti Kai that I've been using every time I put on my makeup I put this underneath and it's the Shanti Kai serum and this is supposed to be like their blue light serum and it's supposed to help against and protect against like blue lights from computer screens and all that stuff but I usually don't put serums on my face because I always think that they're gonna clog my pores and they're kind of like, you know, like you feel like they're kind of like oily. So you're like, I don't wanna put that on my skin, especially anybody who has acne prone skin. I think you guys know what I'm saying, but I'm telling you, I've been using this since Chantecaille sent it to me. It's been, I wanna say three months. My skin looks fantastic. And I really think it has to do with a combination of those two things. I have said this in a previous video, I truly believe that the Shanti Kai skincare may be really, really good. I only tried, I only have those two products that I can say consistently have been using and both of them have done a significant change to my skin. I also feel like this blue light serum has lightened some of my red spots that I would have from like acne scars. I think that this has lightened up those dark spots because I literally feel like my skin has never looked better. Okay, never. But there is also one more product that I have been using non-stop. And this one, guys, if you have acne prone skin or you have issues with your skin, try this, the LYS foundation. This has been my go-to foundation multiple reasons it looks fantastic on my skin it has a natural finish so it looks good on camera but it also looks good in person it almost looks skin like but it does give you a nice coverage it doesn't get into my fine lines I just think that it's like 
all in one a perfect foundation. And another reason I use it a lot for filming is because of the price point. It is so inexpensive for being a luxury Sephora brand foundation. It's also a clean beauty brand. There's just so much about this foundation to love. And I'm telling you, since I have been using this, my skin is getting so much better. It has to be those three products. I mean, typically I would get little breakouts every once in a while, or, you know, I have always complained that, you know, I get like hormonal acne every once in a while. And I'm telling you, my skin has never been better. And those are the three products that I have changed up in my routine. And I really think that they have really helped my skin a lot. I think sometimes we don't realize <laughs> that we put a lot of gunk on our face and some of that stuff can really clog your pores and maybe not be the best for your skin. Everybody's skin's different, but I definitely wanted to give those three products a huge shout out. There's some type of thing in there. They're good. Okay. So let's jump around a little bit. I have a lot of makeup in front of me. I also wanna show you guys some stuff that I've also been using like a lot. I've talked about this in prior videos, but if you're anybody like me who has darker hair, but you do highlights or you do bilage or anything like that, and it takes you a little time before you get to the salon, but you start to get little white hairs popping out, this is an awesome product. So this is a root touch up and it's from L'Oreal. This comes off when you wash your hair. So it's just like a temporary like cover mask. So basically like let's say right now on camera, I sprayed right here to cover up some of my white hairs and it works perfect. So it gives me a little bit of time before I need to go back to the salon and I'm not messing with my stylist's color cause I love her color. Her color is just insanely good but I don't wanna be going to the salon every two months because I have some white hairs coming out. What I do is I just cover my white hairs with this temporarily and you know, I just keep on touching it up. If I'm gonna do something, I see it showing through, you know, and it works really good. So another thing that actually I was grabbing that for you guys and I said, oh my God, I need to mention this to you guys. The Gillette, <laughs> I found these shavers. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're going out there, okay? We're talking about shavers here, but I found these Gillette Venus shavers. These are called the Comfort Glide. Guys, this is like the best shavers ever. And I had never used this one before. I have Gillette shavers, but I never had used this one. And basically what it is, on the outside it has like this really thick barrier and it's like a soap. So you actually don't have to put soap on your legs when you're shaving because it comes off from here, but it's like fat and thick. It's like the most I've ever seen. But like you guys can kind of see it in the picture here. You see like this whole big white area, all of that is like a soap and it's huge. So as you're shaving your legs, it's putting this really soft soap on your legs and it makes it super glidey and silky. I have never used a shaver before that I don't want to put shaving cream or a conditioner or something on my legs with. I've used this shaver probably like five times already, different days, and it still has a lot of this product. And when I shave my legs, I don't feel like putting on any conditioner or shaving cream. It's insane. I kind of really love these shavers and I typically am not somebody who would be like, hey, check out these shavers. Let's jump really quickly back into some makeup, okay? So on my eyes today, a lot of the products that we talked about today I have on my face, like they're sitting right in front of me. And if you guys read down below, I'll tell you guys, but most of this stuff is on my face. <sighs> Natasha Denona's Mini Retro. I was looking through my collection for something that I wanted to pull out to start using a little bit more end of spring, beginning of summer. Retro is what only came to my mind. I did an eye look today with Retro. I love the eye looks I come out every single time I use the Retro palette. There's just something about these two like greenish tones. When you put them on top of each other, it's like a really nice muted look, but they're so elegant and so pretty. It's like the perfect like day to night palette. You could wear this during the day and look super office appropriate, but it has enough pizzazz in it that you can also wear it out at night. I just think this is like the perfect, dainty, beautiful palette. And like you guys, I'm a huge Natasha fan. You guys know this, you guys know this. And I can't wait until she comes out with a retro palette. And I really hope she sticks to theme like she didn't really do with Zendo. I hope she sticks to theme with retro. Don't, don't go off theme. This is beautiful. And yeah, I really, really honestly love it. And I cannot recommend it enough. 
For my lips today, I'm using Nude Romance from Charlotte Tilbury. If you guys didn't see my new ranking video of all the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I own, check that video out. Of course, you guys saw this beautiful color. This is Nude Romance from Charlotte. It's become my favorite Charlotte lipstick. It is just so beautiful. I love the tone. This is like the perfect spring summer lipstick. Like it's just, it matches every single one of my eye looks, but because it has a little bit of a rosy peach to it, you can wear this with very minimal makeup and you don't look washed out. So that's what I love about this color, especially with my skin tone. And yeah, highly, highly recommend it. Um, for another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is a lot of you guys keep asking me when I have a gloss on my lips, everybody's like, well, what gloss do you have on? And I've actually had people confused because I have a lipstick with a gloss on top and I try to say this plus this, you know, but lately what I've been using is the Marc Jacobs. These are called the Enamored Hy Hydrating Lip Gloss Sticks, okay? So I didn't know that I even liked these. <laughs> I actually would wear them on their own and didn't like them as much, but what I've been doing with it is I use it like a gloss. So like on top of this lipstick, I'll just go like this, right? Just put it on top, use my finger. Use my finger to blend it into the lipstick. I tend to always do that anytime I put glosses or try to mix so that everything blends beautifully. And it just adds like that little extra something that the lips need. And it's just a beautiful, very light gloss. And because it has like that peachy undertone, I feel like it makes all lipsticks a little bit brighter. So I really love this color. It's Preach and it's my favorite one. I have another one of his. The color is not my favorite. That's the one that I use like non-stop. Like, I don't stop using it. I'm gonna have a video coming pretty soon that you guys will see like a quick little Target and Abercrombie haul in. But these pajamas are from Target and they are amazing, okay? So I bought the little shorts Oh my goodness, look at this. I bought the little shorts and I got them in two different colors. These come in a lot of colors. I think I'm gonna buy like a whole new pajama drawer. Like I'm serious because I could wear these during the day and I could also wear them at night. Like if I'm just lounging around the house, I love these. The fabric is like to die for, delicious. It's so soft, it feels luxurious, it just feels delicious on the skin, but it'll breathe amazing for like the summertime. So this is Stars Above. They are the best pajama brand in Target. But I also got the long pajama pants, and if you guys saw a recent vlog of mine, you guys will see that I'm collecting these. Like every time that these come out, I buy all the styles. The ones I like are the ones with the little tassel, these are the best ones because they're just like, I don't know, the cut, the feeling, they're so comfortable. The other day I actually had a family member come over and I didn't feel like changing. So I just put this on with like a t-shirt and they kept asking me like, oh my God, your pants are just so cute. I love your pants. And I was like, well, they're pajamas. And they were like, no, no, but they're not really pajamas because they don't look like pajamas. And I was like, they're, they're pajamas, but you could wear them during the day if you want to. But these are, oh my God. So another thing that I've been so obsessed with is this chain right here. Now I actually got this one at H&M. I'll put it on for you guys right now. But they have a very similar one in Target in a lot of different places. I don't know if this exact one is available. If it's not, I'm gonna link similar ones down below. But I love this chain. I feel like now going into the summer, it just looks so cool. It dresses up so many of my outfits and even though chain link necklaces were really big last summer, I don't feel like they ever really went out of style because last summer nobody wore anything out. So I feel like you can pull out your chain link necklaces or if you didn't buy them last year, buy them this year because these just look so cool. Like literally so cool. Like I'm obsessed with this necklace. And another thing that I'm obsessed with and I think you guys know <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this is from Charlotte Tilbury. I love her bronzer. So this is her matte bronzer. The one that I get is in three. I love this bronzer. It's the bronzer I have on today. It always gives me like that sun bronze look. No fake, 
no fake tan, no I look orange. This is a bronzed, bronzed look and it's perfect going into the summer because literally you wanna look like you got sun. This will make you look like you live in Brazil and you go out in the sun every single day or where I live, you live in Miami and the sun hits you every single day. This is the bronzer you wanna get. It's just astronomically good. When it comes to mascara, Lash Paradise, guys, like, forget about all these fancy mascaras. <laughs> I'm so sorry, fancy mascara brands. But L'Oreal Lash Paradise is the best mascara. I can't find another one that I like more. And I've tried the Too Faced ones. I've tried every single, I've tried so many mascaras. I've tried Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath's is really good. The only thing with Pat McGrath's is it has this scent in it that... I'd rather use this one. I don't know, like this one has no scent and it just works phenomenal and it's like more than half the price. Like there is no going wrong with L'Oreal Lash Paradise. You guys want a mascara, just don't even waste your money on anything else. I wanna tell you guys, so let's talk about the H&M socks. These are the best socks ever. Like why even buy socks anywhere else when you can buy socks at H&M? I love H&M socks, okay guys? So I have a lot of these ankle socks. I also have the longer ones. The longer ones from H&M are also amazing. I'm the type of person that when I walk, I walk so rough that I literally will make holes in every single one of my socks. So I'm like one of those people that's constantly throwing away socks because I'm like, oh, there's a hole in this one. Up, oh, there's a hole in that one. These socks last me so long. The price tag is so good, but the fabric on these, these, this fabric is a good fabric. This is not a cheap fabric. All of those cheap socks, even at Target, those cheap Target socks, they don't last. They don't last, they're comfortable, but at the end of the day, I have them for like a month and they're gone. I can have these for so long. So yes, H&M socks, I'm gonna link the two different styles that I buy down below. These are the ankles, and I also buy the longer ones that have like the cute designs on them. They are the best socks that you could buy. So since we're talking about H&M, I need to give a shout out to the H&M bathing suits, okay? This bathing suit is adorable. I, have actually, I haven't actually worn it out yet. I might be wearing it on Friday because I think I'm gonna go to the pool on Friday. But I love this bathing suit, guys. I didn't know H&M had such good bathing suits. Actually, you buy them by your cup size, and I would definitely recommend you buy your exact cup size because they're not too big, not too small. They have this beautiful rouging detail in the front and actually structured, and they have a little bit of a padding, but it's not like a push-up padding or anything like that. It's just so that they don't become see-through and you can't see through it, and it keeps like the form. And then it has the little straps that can be taken off so you could wear it like a bandeau. I love these. They come in so many different colors. The bottom is also super cute and I love that the back is not extremely small. They're small, not the biggest back. So if you guys can see, that's the back and this is the front. You know, but there is fabric there, okay? It has the right amount of coverage for me. It's not like so covered that it looks like and it's not like so small that it's like uncomfortable for me to wear because I'm like, Ugh. all right, so since we're talking about summer things, we have to talk about my key glasses, guys. I told you guys when I bought these at the Nordstrom anniversary sale that these were the best glasses I have ever purchased and I 100% stand by that, still love these glasses. They are still available at Nordstrom. They're quite dirty because I wear them all the time but there's just something so cool about these glasses. They have like that cat eye look that I feel like always looks modern, just always looks like kind of in style. It has the gradient to it. These are just cool girl glasses. I am obsessed with these, but they're not like too modern that you feel dumb wearing them. Like they're not like, oh my goodness, they like look too modern. They're like that perfect amount of fashion, but wearable. I love these glasses. I think that they're back in stock at Nordstrom, so I will have them linked down below so you guys can check them out. The best, love the quality. I love even the case that they come in, so good. So now when it comes to blush, we've gotta talk about the LYS blushes. So I found a way that I love this blush and I've been using this every single day since I figured this out. So what I have been doing that I like more than how I used to do it, so I used to go in with the sponge and put it on and I felt like the sponge would eat away a little bit of the color and I love the way it looked. 
but I wanted more color. So now I use a brush. I apply it with a brush guys and it literally turns into a powder as you apply it. And it looks even more pigmented and it lasts even longer than with the sponge. So if you're somebody who has been kind of hesitant on buying those, or if you have them and you want a good way to wear it, use your brush. Oh my God, so much better here. We're getting down to the wire. I've got a few more things to show you guys. And I'm sure that there's more things that I love because lately I've been picking up stuff that I'm like obsessed with. Let's talk about the shorts in the room. Guys, this is going to be in a very, you're going to see this in a haul pretty soon with this top and everything, but I found the denim shorts of my dreams. Goodbye all denim shorts. Like there is like no competition. I bought some really cute Hollister ones just recently, they like as well. But when it comes to wanting to look a little bit more modern, but still have like a really cool short, there's just no competition against these. So these are my new favorite loves. Literally just got these recently and I just can't get over how much I love them. So it's from Abercrombie. They are the best shorts. I will have them linked down below. I got them in a size 25. Usually I go between 26 or 25 and 25 fits me perfectly. Between sizes, size down. If you're not in between sizes, regular size, obsessed. It came in different washes as well. The other thing that I really love about these shorts is they're shorter in the front, but in the back they give you more length. Thank you, because I don't wanna be walking around with my shorts going up in my back. I mean, come on, who wants that, you know? So the back actually has more length than the front. So the front looks a little bit higher, but the back goes down more. Thank you. Another pair of shorts that I really, really love, and I these are coming in and out of stock at H&M, but if you guys can get a hold of them, they're so freaking cute. So these are eyelet shorts from, these are these really cute eyelet shorts. I will show you guys a better clip of them because I think these lights are like drowning them out. So it has all of this beautiful eyelet details on it. It's so elegant. The only thing is, is if you have hips, okay, and you do not want like the little bit of a bigger effect, then you may not like these because it does have a pleating in the front that does give a little bit more volume. On me, I'm like right there. Like I think if it would have gone a little bit more pleating, I wouldn't have liked them. But the amount of pleating that they have on my body type is just perfection. If you don't have that much hips or if you have a thinner body, you're gonna be obsessed with these because they actually give you hips. Now, if you have bigger hips than me, it just depends on how you like to wear your clothes, but they do flare a little bit. I love these though. Oh my God, they're just, they remind me of like high end eyelet shorts. Okay, so let me quickly just show you guys. I think you guys have seen these things a lot. So I'm just gonna kind of just show you really quickly. H&M has their wildflower collection, which I've mentioned a million times on this channel because I'm completely obsessed with the line. I think they did a really good job this spring, but they came out with this dress and I thought that this was like a gamble dress because it was so open in the front that I was like, mm, I don't know, it's gonna be a little sexy. And I thought it might be a little much, but it's so good. It's so good. If you don't want to make, wear like a hole in the front and you think it's a little bit much, wear it as a bikini cover up. It is so cute as a bikini cover up. Just put your bikini underneath and then put this on top. I'm telling you, it's so cute. It really is so cute. And if you're, and if you feel like wearing it out at night, you could also wear it out at night. So I kind of feel like this is like a perfect, like if you're going on a vacation somewhere, you don't want to pack that much clothes. You could wear this like during the day to a beach thing, your luggage again at night and wear it for dinner. And how much more stuff do I have to show you? Am I at the end here? Okay. So at the end and I feel like I've told you guys about a bunch of really good stuff. So I'm just gonna throw two more out there for you guys. And this is going to be one from Target. Look at this top, okay? So this is actually not really a top. This is like a bra, but these are like the bras that you would wear underneath an outfit. So like I wouldn't wear this for me personally with pants or anything. This is something that I would wear underneath a jacket or I would wear it underneath a really low V top. This has, this comes in a few different colors. I think it also comes in a cream, which I'm going to buy. These are by your cup size as well. And the price tag of these are so good, okay? I used to have a store and I used to sell Cosa Vela and Cosa Vela was really, really, really nice. They had amazing products, but they were so expensive. 
this is like doesn't have like that same feeling because the fabric is not as luxurious but it looks so good on and and it feels fine and it feels fine but it's and because the fabric is not as soft it might actually even last longer if you guys are looking for these type of bralettes oh my goodness Target has really cute ones, like super cute. I will list them down below. And everyday things that I cannot live without, cannot end without talking about my Bobbi Brown eye corrector. Um, yeah, I talk about this a lot, but guess what? If it's good, it's good. And I, I can't, I mean, it's good. So if you have dark circles like moi that you wanna cover some, you know, maybe your skin is getting a little bit thinner because you're getting older and you're starting to see veins coming through, cover it with a cover corrector and then put concealer on. It's gonna help you get rid of the darkness so that you don't have to put on too much concealer. And you guys know if you're over 30 something, the last thing you wanna do is cake on your concealer cause you will look older. So cover yourself with a cover corrector, just dab it where it needs to go and then put on less concealer and I swear you're gonna love it. I use light to medium bisque. I will have it listed down below and you guys can see this is literally used by me every single day, every day. These are products that I can't live without and things that I really think were such good finds. <gasps> How could I end the video without my favorite find? Oh my, <laughs> guys, this video is gonna go on forever. <sighs> How could I end the video without this? My favorite find that I have found, my Tory Burch bag. I'm obsessed with this bag. Oh my goodness. You guys don't even understand how much I love this bag. Look, it even looks good with this. I wear this bag all the time, like all the time. It is the, it's a really nice like vinyl-y fabric. It's not gonna get really ruined. It's kind of like a perfect like beachy bag. Like I wouldn't wear it to the beach because it's just too cute. But like, let's say you're going on a beach holiday and you wanna wear it to a beach dinner or something like that. I would totally wear this. It comes in two sizes. I have the mini tote because I am tiny, I'm 5'3 on a good day. So this is a mini one, but they also have a bigger one. So if you're taller than me and you want something bigger, they have a bigger one. And literally I've told you guys, this is like my favorite Tory Burch bag I've ever bought. It just looks so dainty and pretty. And every time I wear it, somebody tells me something like, oh, that bag and or I catch people staring at it, like trying to figure out what the logo is, you know? So you know that it's good when you get that. But anyways, I think we're gonna end it here before I keep thinking of other things that I really, really like and I keep going on with this video. But let me know if you enjoyed the video. Leave me your comments down below. What has been your favorite find that you guys have found so far? And I hope to do more videos like this, incorporating a little bit more fashion and lifestyle content onto the channel because I'm gonna be honest with you, makeup lately has been so boring. I don't know what's happening but everything's just very uninspired lately and yeah. Anyways, let me know what you think and I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.